Hey there folks, today we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We have the square root of 3 plus root 5, and we're supposed to simplify this as much as possible. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and say that this is equal to the square root of x plus the square root of y, such that x and y are rational numbers. So in order to solve this for x and y, let's go ahead and square both sides. So if you do that, we're going to get 3 plus root 5 on the left hand side, and x plus y plus 2 times the square root of x times y on the right hand side. Next, if we compare both sides, it is obvious that 3 is equal to x plus y, and root 5 is equal to 2 times the square root of x times y. So basically, we have a system of equations in terms of x and y. We have x plus y equals 3, and 2 times the square root of x times y equals root 5. So in order to solve this for x and y, let's go ahead and isolate x in the first one. We can say that x equals 3 minus y. And let's go ahead and square both sides of the second one. So from this, we're going to get 4xy equals 5. Next, let's go ahead and replace this x with 3 minus y using the first equation. So we have 4 times this times y equals 5, which is a really nice equation in terms of y. So we have 12y minus 4y squared equals 5, which will give us 4y squared minus 12y plus 5 equals 0. So this is a really nice quadratic equation, and we can use the quadratic formula in order to solve this for y. So based on the quadratic formula, we can say that y is equal to 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 80, all divided by 8, which means that y is equal to 12 plus or minus 8 over 8, which means that y is either equal to 5 over 2 or it is equal to 1 over 2. And notice that x plus y is equal to 3. Therefore, if y equals 5 over 2, we can say that x is equal to 1 over 2. And if y equals 1 over 2, we can say that x equals 5 over 2. Which means that one of them has to be 1 over 2, and the other one has to be 5 over 2. But remember that the square root of 3 plus root 5 was equal to the square root of x plus the square root of y. So, if one of x and y is 1 over 2 and the other one is 5 over 2, we can say that the square root of 3 plus root 5 is equal to the square root of 1 over 2 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Next, in order to simplify this a little bit more, we can go ahead and get a common denominator. So this is going to be root 2 in the bottom and root 1 plus root 5 on the top. And in order to rationalize this, let's go ahead and multiply both the top and the bottom by root 2. So we're going to get root 2 plus root 10 over 2. And this is the simplest form that we can get from our expression. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this. And hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.